Hey gang, Jack Allaire here, uh, just uh, giving you a little bit of an update of what's been going on. Um, uh, there will be no uh, Keep It or Not this week. Uh, last week was a real busy week uh, getting costumes together because my son and I went to uh, Shudokan. Uh, Shudokan is a cosplay convention that takes place here in Lansing, Michigan. Well, in Lansing, Michigan. In Lansing, here in Michigan. Uh, we had a great time. This is our first time actually in costume, and it was thanks to the the person who puts on the panel. And I I always miss getting her name, but she does a, a wonderful panel on how to cosplay uh, on a budget, uh, and all of the the tips that she gave allowed us to actually put together uh, costumes for relatively cheap. Um, <clears throat> My son, uh, I've introduced to anime, uh, so he has been watching Fairy Tale a lot. Wanted to go as uh, Natsu, so here's what Natsu looks like, and then here is what uh, the costume ended up looking like. Uh, so we did we did pretty good. The scarf was a last minute, and I mean last minute, run to Joanne Fabrics. Uh, it was a eighty eighty cent excuse me eighty cent purchase of cloth. And uh, about 15 minutes with a Sharpie. But otherwise, uh, he would not have had a scarf. Because we actually ordered a, a real scarf that looks like Natsu's. But it won't show up for another like week and a half yet. Um, we are... Um, I, dressed as uh, uh, a character from one of my favorite games that most people don't know about, is uh, Weapon Shop de Omase. Uh, it was a downloadable only 3DS title, so fairly low key. Only one person knew who I was, uh, and they were uh, fairly impressed that anyone else knew that game. Um, <clears throat> but it was a lot of fun. Uh, here's what the character looks like, the the 3D render that I use as a basis, and then. Here's what I look like. Now, my son can't take a photo to save his life, so it's blurry, but you get the idea. Uh, we also ran across uh, so many cool people that were dressed in cool costumes. Ran across, uh, I believe her name is Kaylee, and she posted in a Facebook group that uh, is all for cosplayers in Michigan. And we went, we met her. Uh, said hi for a while, got some pictures. We ran across all kinds of other people. Uh, we went to a panel where we learned about uh, making creature costumes and learned a lot of cool things, got a, some good ideas from there. Of course, my dog chooses now to eat. but uh, And she made a uh, Skeksis from the Dark Crystal. And it is creepy, just as creepy as it ever was. Uh, and just amazing. But of course, I wear glasses, and my costume had me this, and I can't see me on the recording device. So, But it was a blast. Uh, then, uh, of course, there were people who were dressing as uh, Vocaloids, which I found... I don't know why I found that weird, because it's like, oh, they were dressing up like a made-up person, but then again, we're all dressing up like a made-up anyway. uh, But there was a, a few pictures I didn't get was, uh, there was someone dressed as uh, Santa Claus, which I thought was hysterical. There were some Ghostbusters. Uh, there was a, uh, a miner, like an old-timey miner. Look, uh, um, goofy dog. But we had a blast there. Uh, I did get a photo. This is from the second story. And it shoots down over uh, part of the... Part of the, uh, the main walkway downstairs. Uh, this is about a tenth of the walking space. Um, but um, <clears throat> we spent a lot of time in the game room. And this is uh, about 
This picture is from the halfway point, so there was a huge game room there. And it, uh, I did end up buying two things. Uh, one was uh, some uh, lovely earrings for my wife, and then the other, well, let me be right back. The other is uh, some art by, ooh, let me, by Amy Nagy. And I don't know why, but I just saw this one, and this isn't the first piece of art that I've bought. I just really liked the coloring. And a lot of her art was like that, in that it went from very light to very dark. And that was one of the reasons I liked it. I think I may contact her and see if I can get her to commission, because I have an idea for something, but I don't know um, what it will entail. But that's why uh, No Games did uh, get a crap ton of street passes, uh, had some great times playing uh, Smash and Mario Kart. Uh, the Street Fighter place was a little weird uh, in that we got one guy that was talking smack. He was talking smack really loud and using words I didn't want my 13-year-old to uh, hear. So... We didn't stay there, over in that area. But they had a DDR going, all kinds of other stuff. And uh, I'll go ahead and leave it with uh, this great little dance number that decided to wander through for some unknown reason. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, Keep It or Not will continue next week. And as always, play on!